Checking in with the athletic department at the University of Finley. They've had a great year and they've got some summer camps to tell us about. Joining us today, the director of athletics, Jim Gibbons. And thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks so much for having us. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're in uh, we're in full camp mode here at the university. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. So what kind of camps do you offer in case, you know, kids are sitting at home thinking I need to do something? Well, I'll tell you from an athletic standpoint uh, right now, uh, this past week was our first week for our team camps. Uh, basketball team camps, both men and women. Men started last week. The women are going to start uh, uh, at the end of this week. I guess we are at the end of this week, so uh, they'll be starting to. Um, we have the largest team camps this side of the Mississippi River, uh, and we have had uh, for some years. Uh, it, it is a great experience for uh, the guys and the ladies. Uh, they come, they stay on campus, they eat on campus. Uh, they get a true feel of of what campus life is all about, and and you know it's it's very competitive as well. High schools come from all over the all over the state. Uh, they have five sessions, uh, which is a lot. So as you can imagine, this is a very very busy place. I bet, yeah. So you know, you got basketball. Do you cover other sports too during the summer? Oh yeah, we have wonderful volleyball camps. We have soccer camps. Uh, we have both team camps and individual youth camps. Uh, basketballs both do youth camp. Football does a youth camp. Uh, actually, a couple. Uh, so from here on till the start of school, if if you're looking for something for kids to do, this is probably a pretty good, uh, pretty good spot to be. And if you just go, to, if people just go to our website and and click on camps. Uh, they will get a full rundown of, of all the activities that we have. Now, you guys have had a banner year with your sports. And uh, so do you have some of your athletes helping out at these camps? Oh, yes. Our uh, most of our student athletes, um, they help out at all of the, the respective camps. Um, you know, how we've, we've gotten into uh, our summertime is big for training. Uh, we've got over 50 of our st student athletes, excuse me, here already um, working out three times a week and uh, they stay on campus and um, you know they get after it so they're preparing for the upcoming year uh, and and frankly that's 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 why that's partly why we've been as successful as we have been is because of the commitment of our staff uh, as well as our student athletes okay so brag a little bit because I've heard that you had a really good year some like coaches of the years players of the years I mean your sports teams did well this year yeah, you know, we really do. And I, and I have to say, it, it starts at the top. Our leadership, uh, Dr. Fell, our president uh, and our cabinet at the University of Finley, uh, they they are very, very supportive of athletics. And, and that means the world to us. Uh, without their support, we couldn't do what we do. Uh, our staff is incredible. And, and I tell people this all the time, and, it, and it's cliche. Um, but, you know, People make the place. We've all heard that, but great people make great places, and and this is a great place. Uh, and we have success because of our people, uh, both our staff and our student athletes. Um, they are committed to what our mission is, uh, and you know we have we won our President's Cup, uh, which is our our great Midwest Athletic Conference uh, all sports trophy that lasts four out of five years. Unfortunately, this year uh, we lost by one point just one, which is almost hard to believe. Um, but we uh, we really enjoyed uh, another wonderful season. And, and it's a tribute to all the hard work of our staff and our student athletes. You, you mentioned it's the people and the hard work. So I assume that makes recruiting a little bit easier for you to bring good athletes then to the University of Finley? Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, you know, if you look, the, the landscape in college athletics across the country is changing. Well, our world's, the landscape of our world is changing, right? But uh, in athletics with NIL and, and the transfer portal and everything that's going up at, at higher levels, obviously that all that all trickles down. Uh, and, you know, we have really maintained uh, our mission, our mission of personal approach championship experience. That is something that we live by here. Uh, and it's, it's difficult because of all of the outside noise that there is in college athletics. Um, we, we, uh, we preach about that to our to our student athletes. Um, you know, we from a facility standpoint, we don't have a lot, but what we do have, uh, we are very very thankful for, and we take care of, and uh, they are very very nice facilities. 
uh, but not having everything and having the success that we do um, is a tribute again to our student athletes and our coaches and the way that they recruit in particular. Um, they they are on the road all of the time. Uh, they are they are finding those those young student athletes that want to be committed to the University of Finley. Awesome stuff. If you want to keep your kids busy with an athletic camp, check out University of Finley. Thank you, Jim, for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me anytime. All right, don't go away. New Edition continues in a moment.